I'm trying to get people off camera as much as I can, guys. Where I'm at, there's so many people walking around. Oops. Okay, this turned out to be a disaster. I'm going to move you guys back. I can't do it like that. Just move you like that. How's that? Keep you up. Probably not. You'll probably fall. And if you do, I'll catch you guys. What's going on, guys? Welcome to a. I'm not going to say a new show, but I've been sick. I've been hearing about this for the last three weeks, and just like everybody else, I'm going to dress my channel and the effects of the TCA, Copa, Copa, however how you say it. First of all, I've been see I've had the flu or some kind of virus I don't know I'm probably not over it I shouldn't be doing this but I'm doing it regardless okay so let me go back and I'm gonna say two weeks ago I got an email along with every other youtuber about the changes in YouTube going forward in 2020 and there's going to be some game to you too so don't feel like you've been left out I'm going to see if I can get this right in 1998 The TCA, which is Federal Trade Service, issued a new law they called COPA or COPA. They couldn't even say it on their press conference. It stands for Children's Online Privacy Protection Act, for some of you that don't know. And it states a child under the ages of 13. Which is crazy, believe it or not. The government still thinks 13 year olds is child. Anyway, getting back to that. If you're under 13 and you're watching this, please leave now. I don't want to get in trouble with federal government or COPA, COPA, however how you say it. So if you're under 13, I ask you to leave the room now. If you're 15 and under, you can stay. But it's Federal Trade Service. What it is, it protects kids from online predators like sickos, child offenders, people that does really sick stuff to kids. I'm not one of them. I'm a gamer. There's, there's a difference. And some of my games may attract some kids because I, I play GTA, I play Dragon Ball Z, I've played fishing games. WWE is real popular on my channel for some reason. Over 170 of you love my WWE with videos, which is crazy. I never thought pro wrestling would be that. Anyway, they set this law up to protect online predators from kids. And. Google, which is YouTube, was running ads. Kids were signing up, getting their parents to sign them up for YouTube channels when they really shouldn't have. Had. If you're one of the ones, you should have waited until you was like older because this is a business, and I'm gonna go into that. 
Anyway, now we've ball off. We have set. We have to set whether our videos is made for kids. Now, if we set these videos for kids, we lose the comments. We lose the live streams. We lose the ability the notification. We lose the where you subscribe basically it becomes a dead channel on the kids app. I actually downloaded YouTube Kids to see if my channel's on there and thankfully my channel is not on there. So I'd like to thank TCA and COPPA for not putting me on there because my videos is made for sort of like my generation and older people that want to go back to being a kid. You miss the days of Mario. You miss the days of Sonic or any other game I play. Or wrestling shows. or Just talking about movies and stuff. That's what my shows. I've set my, all my stuff not made for kids. I don't want to get in trouble. I got some neighborhood kids that's actually subscribed to my channel, which I'm grateful. I don't have that many 12 and 5 year olds. Most of mine's older people like myself and other people, which I'm grateful. I'm drinking hot honey lemon tea. And just tell you guys what this stuff tastes like. When it's really cold. Here, have a drink. It tastes like really nasty cough syrup without the alcohol. Yeah, it's that nasty. But it's one of my mama's homemade remedies and I've been doing it for years. So, if I'm sniffing and sneezing and coughing, you'll understand I'm a little sick, so don't hold that against me. Anyway, us YouTubers have been set, have to choose between whether our videos are made for kids or whether they are not made for kids. Thankfully, none of my audience is 5 and 12 year olds, which I'm grateful. Although, I think some of my younger gamers guys this is where if you're still here this is where we have to part it's not me okay I'm gonna get this out right now it's not me I enjoy having you watch me but the thing about it is the government don't see it the way I do so this is why I asked you to leave now. If the parents is still here, I'm going to educate you on what a YouTuber really is. A YouTuber is somebody that sort of try to bring, whether it's games, news, movies, Legos, toy reviews. Classic movies, news about TV shows, all that stuff. At the end of the day, this camera is what we keep connected to you. I don't have a PlayStation 4 camera set up for... When I do, I'm going to actually set up sort of like a studio up so I can do videos like it's on my PlayStation that I can share through Facebook and everywhere else. That way my phone's free. I don't mess up. So, a YouTuber's sort of like what Gene Roddenberry was, what George Lucas is, what Steven Spielberg is in Hollywood. All these guys that made really cool movies like The Terminator, Star Trek, I'm a Trekkie, See, I'll even show you. I know how to do the spot thing. And I'm not going to call us painters, but we're sort of like a guy. What was his name? Oh, that 
done the painting on PBS, you know. Bob Ross, that's him. He'd get on there and he'd paint them pictures and he would bring you into his world. That's what Gene Roddenberry did. Gene Roddenberry created his own world of Star Trek. And now there's been multiple films, TV shows, Steven Spielberg with the Jurassic Park movies. He made people believe that dinosaurs could exist. It's just like, oh, George Lucas and the Star Wars. I'm probably going to get demonetized or quoted as kids for Star Wars, but it's true. I've been doing my thing for five years. I don't ask no money on my channel. There's no way to get revenue on my channel. I set my channel freely and clear. People's free to watch me as long and as whenever they want. There's no membership. All I ask you to do is subscribe to my channel and tell people about it. Help me get the gold, diamond, and silver plaques. That's all I ever want. I've always wanted us gamers to be took serious. Sure, the Legos is took serious. The toy reviewers, even the movie guys, is taken serious on YouTube. But some of us gamers, we're just starting out. I barely got my foot started. I think of this like, some of you may think it's silly, but I think of this like this real giant mountain. I'm already there. I'm putting the boots on. I'm getting the gear ready. I'm heading up the hill on my way to 1,000. What happens when I get there? I start the journey all the way down again and redo it over. You see, this life is a job. For some of you younger viewers that will see us, I'm not experienced like everybody else, but I will give you some advice from somebody that's done it longer than anybody. Five years is a long time to be doing videos. I've got over 300. And if I get this wrong, the TCA and COPPA fines people up to $42 million, I think that's right. Go to TCA.com slash COPPA and you can read everything there. I actually, they come out and said they're not going to find people because they know people don't have that kind of money. Not everybody's Donald Trump, okay? Not everybody can be as rich as Ric Flair or Hulk Hogan or Vince McMahon. Even John Cena is richer than me, for crying out loud. That's sad. But you guys got to understand, some of us YouTubers, we actually enjoy the work we do. You see some of you that work 9 to 5, you're off Saturday and Sunday. You have to call a boss when you get sick. Like, hey, I'm sick, can I take the day off? I don't have that problem. Well, actually I do, I got one there. She thinks she runs the channel, but it's my sister. Several years ago, my mama took over the operations of whether or not I was able, when I got sick, to do my videos or not. She told me, yeah, no. I actually answered to my family members. And my dad is the senior CEO on my channel, so I answered to him. But I want you guys to understand that us YouTubers, we're not a really bad people. And if the TCA, if the COPA or COPA or Copa Cabana, I'm probably going to get in trouble for calling them all kinds of names, but I really don't know what to call them, finds this video. If maybe, just maybe, if you would ask us nicely, 
we would let you in on our world. We would let we would show you what it is we do. I created my world a year ago. My mom passed away. I actually thought about quitting then. I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for one person, my sister. I thought about canceling everything, logging out of YouTube, screwing it, selling my PlayStation. Wasn't no point in it. Because my mama seen all of my videos first. She seen the gameplay. She seen the editing. She seen every work I put into this. And she believed one day I would get my shot at the top of the mountain. Like everybody else. Cooley's Gaming Channel show would go wild. We'd call it Cooley Mania. Yeah. Cooley Mania. It's got a ring to it. That deserves a shirt. Hashtag Cooley Mania. But anyway. She believed one day I would be like these Hollywood guys. I would get the millions and millions of fans watching me daily. I would have the business. I'd create my own family business out of this. My dream is to actually introduce older people that forgot about games back to the game world. Or families just having game night. My mama believed in old-fashioned family time where you sit at the table and you ate. You talked about I believe all of that. I do. Some part of me still holds on to that. But there's another part of me that wants to change it up. I think of family time as a different way. Ordering your favorite movie or watching your favorite TV show, ordering pizza, getting popcorn, playing games, having tournaments, just having fun. That's what my game family time is. So, now that you know I'm not going nowhere, okay? I'm just going to be honest as I possibly can. I'm not leaving. I'll be here till the day I die. They'll probably bury my phone in my casket, what somebody said. They're going to set it up so we're, you know, it looked like I was still recording, which would be kind of cool. But, Do I hold any grudges against Kyle? No, I don't. Because I know what this world is, and I know we need something like Kappa to watch our kids. I'm a big kid at heart. I could never hurt a kid for nothing in this world. I love kids. Because they love games and wrestling. I guess you can call me a big kid. But anyway, guys... I'm not, we're not a bad guy, okay, in this. The TCA in COPPA has took us way out of control. And some of you other YouTubers has canceled. Come back to YouTube. Don't let your last word go down to Flusher. Shh. Don't let your last word go down to Flusher. Tell her to come on. But anyway, guys, that's it. I'd love to know your opinions. Leave down below what you think of the COPPA and my channel and other gamers. Until then, remember, guys, be happy, be merry, be silly, and gamers truly are best in the world at what we do. Later. Bye.